Howdy everyone, this is Little Black Dragon, and you are watching another installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Dwarven Commoner Edition. Let's see, uh, in our last installment we were continuing our little uh, companion quest intermission where we take a break from the main plot to do several companion quests, talk to our companions, hang out with them, basically just get a few side stories out of the way before we continue our final main quest before the lands meet, which is the Urn of Sacred Ashes. Now, technically, I could have done that quest earlier, but it just seems so appropriate to do it at the end, at least for me. So, without further ado, uh, we're going to continue uh, getting some... Uh, Companion quest done, going to random places so you guys can hear some party banter, uh, which is probably what we're going to do first. Uh, and just as a quick review, we did drop off several things for our supplies uh, for our allies. Now, it's very important that you do this because the more supplies you drop off, the stronger your allies will be when it comes time to fight the Archdemon. Alright, well, with that little recap done and over with, uh, let's uh, take a few party members out and go to random places and do some party banter. In fact, we'll probably just head back to Orzammar since that's the easiest place to do it. Um, let's see. I think we should take Sten. Yes. And Morgan. Indeed. And who else do we want to take? Ooh. Uh, well, I think I'll take Alistair, just because it's fun to hear him bicker with Morrigan sometimes. Snarking! Let the snark contest begin! Who will go home? Who will be victorious? The world may never know. Or I'll leave you the judging up to you guys. Anyway, so for the next couple of episodes, uh, basically going to be party banter. So, back to Orzammar. So, for those of you who want to get on with the main story. Uh, once these are posted, you can probably just skip over these if you don't particularly care about party banter. I think party banter is worth showing off because it leads to interesting story points, interesting things about the lore, uh, and also because uh, a lot of Sten's dialogue isn't unlocked unless you uh, unless it comes up in party banter, so... Without further ado, uh, let us continue our random trotting back and forth so we can hear our companions talking. Draw your weapon. Are you talking to me? Your weapon. Draw it. Why? Are we under attack? I want to see what you can do. You want to fight me? Just like that? You are a Grey Warden. How are you going to face an archdemon if you cannot face me? It is a mystery, I'll admit. I should let your weakness damn us all. Draw your sword. I'll try not to injure you permanently. I don't have to prove anything to you. Forget it. So you do have a spine. Pity you don't use it. Interesting. Actually, I would generally agree with his assessment. And why are those bones still there? Oh well. I won't judge. Sadly, folks, this means we will have to go through a few loading screens just to hear party banter come up. But whatever. And the nice thing about Orzammar is we can just randomly switch out party members whenever we feel like it, so... Like I said, if you want to hear party banter, Orzammar is definitely the easiest place to do it. So, we're walking back out again. And then we're gonna walk back in. And then we're gonna walk back out. It's like a cycle. Like the cycle of the Avatar. 
Reference to Avatar The Last Airbender for those of you who don't know. Although, whether you know or particularly care is your prerogative. Um, it's a pretty awesome cartoon though. Even if you're not into cartoons, I would still recommend it. It's got a pretty good story. Anyway, moving along. MORE PARTY BANTER! You were very quiet, Stan. Only compared to some. Wait, is that it? Is that really it? Okay then. I guess we're going to have to go back in then. You are very quiet, Stan. Only to some. Okay. Uh, so I'm assuming to others he is not quiet at all. Maybe to a termite. But most of the time he is rather quiet. Except when he gets pissed at people. Then he isn't quiet. You do not want Sten mad at you. You don't. In fact, you don't want any... Kalsith or Kunari mad at you. Because they're dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Anyway... With any hope, we'll get a bit more substantive conversation. And, of course, it always auto-saves. Ah, sorry about the delay, folks. There's one thing I do not understand, Alistair. Just the one thing. About you, perhaps. Why the deception over your parentage? I'd figure you'd be the sort who knows all about deception. I do. And what use the deception might have had ended when King Kalen perished, did it not? Maybe. I guess I was sort of hoping that would go away. The truth does not go away. I didn't say it was a good plan. Oh, that's true. The truth does not simply go away. But... Hey, maybe part of it is Alistair just doesn't want to be king. I mean, it is kind of a big responsibility, don't get me wrong. Personally, I think he wouldn't be a particularly bad king. Like Sten said, though, he has a spine. It exists. He can step and up to people. The problem is, he never does it. So it's like, ah, Alistair, why do you no stand up to people? You can do it, I know you can, but you don't. Oh well, at least there's in this game you can actually convince him through a very specific set of dialogue. To metaphorically put fertilizer in his pants and grow a pair. Yep. I... I went there. Sorry about that, folks. But, yeah, that's basically what he needs to do. Metaphorically, so to speak, grow a pair. Anyway, moving right along. More party banter. I am led to understand that the Kunari have their own mages as well. Is this so? You would not understand. Not to understand? Is it mental capacity that you believe I lack? Or are you worried I will sympathize with my so-called brethren? Take your pick. <laughs> Is that supposed to make me angry? It means I find myself wishing that your people held proper, civilized attitudes towards magic. Hmm. That is a rather hostile thing to say. And yet you continue speaking. Astonishing. <laughs> ah. Turns out, even Sten gets annoyed by Morgan. And even Sten can annoy Morgan in turn. Which is interesting considering Morgan actually wants us to free Sten. 
probably one of the few events in the game besides certain events regarding your player where she actually shows, you know, maybe an ounce of compassion. It'd be like, where was this during, like, the rest of the game? I mean, seriously. Why... Why is Sten so special as opposed to, you know, some random person that we help out that you'll obviously get mad at? Speaking to Mo the character of Morrigan. Eh, well, whatever. Like I said, even though I'm complaining, guys, I really do like Morrigan as a character. She's really interesting. But you don't necessarily have to agree with someone to think they're an interesting character. Anyway. Again, more pouty banter. Because I said so. I do wonder, is it permissible for two Grey Wardens to... Oh, what is the word I search for? Caboodle? Fraternize. What's wrong with fraternizing? It seems most... Undisciplined for an organization that claims it will do whatever is necessary to end the Darkspawn threat. One thing has nothing to do with the other. Oh no? And what if the Grey Warden was forced to choose between the Warden he loved and ending the Blight? What should his choice be? That is a, a ridiculous question. And I have my answer. Most kind of you. Ah! Actually, that question was not ridiculous at all. In fact, I think that's a very interesting question, don't you think, ladies and gentlemen? I think it's an interesting question. Personally, if I had to choose, obviously, I'd have to- Ending the Blight would probably have to take precedence, but if it's possible- Oh, to save both, then I think I would go for it. Anyway... Back that way. Because reasons. Um... Let's see. Uh... Sadly, I have nothing interesting to contribute at this point. Eh, I know I'm not always the most articulate of Let's Players, and I usually don't have anything insightful to add to the conversation, but I do what I can, and the point of this is to show off how awesome this game is anyway. Which is why we're go meandering back and forth doing party banter stuff. Yeah. And let's see, we've got about a couple of minutes left. Uh. Yeah. Moving right along. More party banter! So, are you going to continue staring at me as if I am covered in eels? Eels would be something. Prudery. How charming. I expected paranoia. This is much better. I prefer to be stared at lustfully, if at all. Keep trying, then. Oh? Then shall I demonstrate an act or two, and you may tell me hot or cold? I'll save time. Cold. <laughs> you are a tease. Wait, what just happened? D did I just hear what I thought I heard? Um, M Morgan trying to flirt with Sten? Question mark? Interesting. That I was not expecting. Well, folks, it uh, appears we are just about out of time. So I'm going to save the game right here and cut the video off, but I will see you all in the next installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Dwarven Commoner Edition, where we continue these 
insightful discussions. And hopefully we can switch off between a few more characters, maybe do a couple more episodes of this, and then I promise we will move on to actual companion quests and then the rest of the plot, because yeah, you guys probably would prefer to see that anyway. So, uh, you know the drill, uh, and I will see you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching.